<clears throat> now I want to discuss how to find a print and ebook. Right now, I'm on the library homepage, library.rit.edu. You'll notice in the middle of the page, there's a search bar with different tabs. You can click on those. I want to click on catalog. It's important to click on the tab. I can search two different ways. I can type in the search bar or click on the orange search icon. Now you see the catalog search page. Suppose I'm interested in finding a book about deaf culture. I can type in the keywords. Now on this page, you can see the results. I am interested in the first result about deaf culture. I will click on the title. You can see the book record has the author, the title, publisher, and year. This is important later for your citations and references. If you're writing a research paper. Notice in the middle of the record, there is a link to the ebook. You can click on that. I'm letting you know that it's available 24 seven from anywhere in the world. You could be in California and you can still get in. Also, I want you to look at the license right here. It says unlimited users. This means the whole class can see the book at the same time. And there's no time limit. This is what the ebook page looks like. You can read it online, download the book, or a chapter. I will click on the Read Online tab. Now you see more details. You can see the chapter list, the table of contents, and also search within the book. First, let me show you the table of contents. We can also search inside the book. Suppose I want technology. I can type that word in the search bar and the results will show me pages related to technology. Do you see the blue bar? I can click on that. That shows me pages where it mentions technology. Suppose you want to save the book. You can. You can set up an account in this ebook link and then save the book to the bookshelf.
Now, suppose I don't want an ebook, but I want a print book. Let us go back to the search results. It looks like the third title is a print book. So I will click on that. And again, you have a record of the book. You can see the book location, the fourth floor, and you see the call number. It's on a white sticker on the book spine. You need that number to find the book because it is the address of the book. It's where it lives on the shelf. You can write down the call number or you can send the record to your phone. If you can't find the book, you can stop by the circulation desk and they will be happy to help you find the book. Remember the call num remember the call number area. Um, it will have similar books on that topic. It's a good idea to browse and see what other titles are there that might be of interest to you. That sums up my explanation on how to find a good book.